Southwest suburban scientists and a supercomputer are helping in the fight against the coronavirus. Yeah, fascinating right here. Dr. Steven Streifer with Argonne National Laboratory is among those helping make sense of all the number crunching. He joins us tonight via Skype. Doctor, first of all, we want to thank you for joining us. What are you up to? It's, it's pretty fascinating. Oh, absolutely. A pleasure to be here. So Argonne is actually doing everything we can to uh, contribute to solving the crisis that we have right now. Uh, you've mentioned one of the areas that we're working in, which is using uh, high performance computers to actually model parts of the virus so that we can uh, better determine drugs that might be able to be interfere with the production, of the, the reproduction of the virus, or ultimately give us clues as to how we might uh, develop a vaccine for the virus. A lot of this also depends on understanding the structure of proteins in the virus. And one of the uh, facilities at Argonne National Laboratory is a very, very, very large X-ray microscope that allows us to look at those proteins in atomic detail so that we can determine how best to attack them. And doctor, specific to our area, if we're talking about Chicago, you are also doing some research that applies to us. What exactly is that? Oh, absolutely. So uh, one of the big unknowns in this are what sort of interventions, what sort of things can uh, the public do and the Chicago government do uh, to be able to halt the spread of the virus or at least slow it down to uh, give our healthcare workers in particular a chance to really deal with the, uh, the epidemic as it progresses. Uh, so one of the key things that Argonne is also working on is developing so-called agent-based models, models that actually simulate the behavior of the citizens of Chicago. And then we can put into that different behaviors for those citizens citizens and understand how we might interrupt those behaviors or change those behaviors, for instance, through uh, the length of the stay at home order in a way that we can see how that alters the progression of the virus throughout our community. OK, that's interesting, Erica. Uh, you almost stole my question, but we're two floors away, so we don't get to see each other as much. So these two supercomputers you're using called Theta and Bebop. Now, mm -hmm. uh, I would ask you how you got the name Bebop, but we're going to pass that up to say when you run this modeling, basically you're running on modeling on three million citizens. You, you enter A, say if everyone stays at home for X amount of time, mm -hmm. this will happen. B, if no one stays at home, this is what happens. Do you have data now that has come from that modeling yet or are you running those models? We're running those models even as we speak. Um, it's really been an amazing effort to see the scientists at Argonne really build those models uh, based on what's going on right now. Uh, we've been able to determine that the models actually reproduce the uh, factors of the epidemic as we've seen it to date. And now we can start introducing these variables into the model that uh, help us hopefully do a little bit better job of predicting the future. And doctor, real so, quickly here as we wrap up, if we're talking timelines, we've heard from many of the officials locally that they're really only looking one to two weeks out in terms of addressing it, because we don't know how long this really will mm -hmm. last. It's ever evolving. What is your research showing, if anything, about time frames? Uh, it's a little bit too early to say, I have to say. Um, and that's one of the things that we're working very hard to do. Hopefully, in the next week to two weeks, uh, we'll have a much better sense of the timeline of this and uh, uh, hopefully can do things, uh, help the government uh, suggest behaviors, suggest things that we can do that will uh, make this uh, much less severe than it would be otherwise. All right, Dr. Streifer, thank you for your time your insight here in this supercomputer. We appreciate it. Yeah, we'll oh, my him. pleasure. Thank you. We'll want him on again.